Hi, I am Amit Lumkar. In this video, we discuss about the metabolism of catecholamines. The catecholamines nothing but the neurotransmitter adrenaline and noradrenaline and similar substances. How the metabolism of these will occurs in this video we discuss in detail. So about metabolism or fate of catecholamines, the actions of adrenaline and noradrenaline are terminated by three processes. First one is reuptake into the nerve terminal. Second one is dilution by diffusion from the junctional cleft and reuptake at non-neuronal sites. And third one is metabolic transformation in which there is an involvement of a two enzymes MAO and COMT. So let's diagrammatically here we discuss this metabolism or fate of catecholamines. When there is a stimulus, nerve stimulus, then there is an entry of calcium and which triggers the release of norepinephrine or noradrenaline into the synaptic cleft. And some of these will get binds to the respect to adenoceptor that is alpha and beta receptor. Some are get neuronal reuptake means here it is called uptake 1 process means here the action of this neurotransmitter gets stopped. Another way is there is a extra neuronal uptake will takes place which is called uptake 2 and this uptake 2 which operates only when high concentration of catecholamines are circulating in bloodstream and after this uptake 2 the catecholamines are now stored but rapidly get metabolized and third way is there is a metabolism by these enzymes MAO and COMT. So these are the three ways by which the action of these neurotransmitter adrenaline nor adrenaline get stopped or you may say the metabolism or fate of the catecholamines takes place. Now here we discuss in detail about these three processes. First one is reuptake into the nerve terminal. A major mode of termination of the action of noradrenaline is by reuptake into the adrenergic neuron. This process is termed uptake 1 and involves a sodium chloride dependent transmembrane transporter that has a high affinity for norepinephrine that is noradrenaline. This uptake system also transport certain amines other than norepinephrine into nerve terminal. So the similar amines also get transported into this nerve terminal. Some of the norepinephrine that re-enters the sympathetic neuron is transported into storage granules where it is held in a stable complex with ATP and protein until sympathetic nerve activity. Means once again it is stored in the synaptic vesicles and whenever, when there is again stimulus then from that it will get released into a synaptic cleft. The transport of norepinephrine from the cytoplasm into storage granules is carried out by an H plus that is proton dependent transmembrane vesicular transporter. So these are about the reuptake into the nerve terminal. Second way is dilution by diffusion from the junction cleft and uptake at non-neuronal sites that is other than the neuronal terminals. In addition to the neuronal uptake of norepinephrine, also extra neuronal uptake process occurs. And just now we have discussed that this process that is which is also called as the uptake 2 and which can be operated at high concentration. So this uptake process is present in a wide variety of cells including glial, hepatic and myocardial cells. 
it has relatively low affinity for norepinephrine it play a role in the disposition of circulating catecholamines catecholamines that are taken up into extra neuronal tissues are metabolized rapidly so these are about the dilution by diffusion from the junctional cleft and uptake at non neuronal site and which is called uptake 2 now the third process is metabolic transformation the two principal enzymes involved in catecholamine metabolism are monoamine oxidase that is mao and catechol o methyl transferase in short comt both of these enzymes are distributed throughout the body with high concentration found in the liver and kidneys mao is associated primarily with the outer membrane of the mitochondria while comt is found primarily in the cytoplasm so you have to remember that because of, because of mao there is a oxidative deamination of the nor epinephrine and the similar amines whereas due to because of comt there is a o methylation means there is a hydroxyl group which are attached to the benzene ring there is a methylation will occur so these are all about the metabolism or fate of catecholamines there are the three processes hope all of you getting this thank you happy learning